that an Android, Sean? Hi guys, welcome back to the Shannon Show. Hello if you're new. So today's video is going to be a watch along slash reaction slash commentary on Sean Mendes' documentary in Wanda. I hope everybody is doing as well as can be and I really do hope everybody is being as proactive as possible in supporting the Black Lives Matter movement. And if you're still on the lookout for some resources, I've linked some in the description. Feel free to comment down below your thoughts on my commentary. I'm always up for a chat, I'm always up for debate. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a dislike. No hard feelings. And if you really, really like this video, consider subscribing to the channel and helping you get out. So, Sean Mendes in Wanda. I'm a fan of Sean Mendes. I've been with him since the Macon. Since the Macon day, Macon gang, where you at, where you at? Macon was a bit messy though, I had to understand. I had to understand, but I was always standing Sean Mendes. Um, so yeah, I'm a fan of his music, fan of his artistry. Yes, he has been involved in some mess, which I was very disappointed about. You know, the notes app apology did come out. Um, you know, even his girlfriend had some notes app <laughs> apologies as well. They've been in some mess, they've been in some mess, shawty. Um, but what I'm kind of, I'm always kind of interested to see what these documentaries are about, what they show, whether they're going to be showing people in a different light. I'm not sure what they're going to show, whether it's just going to be focused on the music or him making his new album. I haven't listened to it, by the way. Um, so if I hear any songs, it's going to be like my first time listening to them. I just haven't had time to really listen to albums. Um, so that's going to be what, that's that's one of the things I'm quite interested about to get a kind of snippet of the music from the new album. Um, I wonder if he is going to address the notes app apology because him and Camilla have both been politically active and I'm assuming they have maybe filmed some of this footage during the times that we're living in where people are a lot more openly conscious about things so maybe they will address Black Lives Matter and also their notes app apologies so that would be quite interesting because the notes app apology wasn't the strongest notes app ap apology that I saw, if I'm being real. Ain't no coon out here, I'm gonna call people out when it needs to be called out. But I feel like seeing behind the scenes is always interesting and also seeing how the artist actually wants to be portrayed when the control is in their hands. I think that's always quite interesting. But let's just get into it. But yeah, I was, I was wondering if Camilla was gonna be in it, or not Camilla, Camilla was going to be in it um and she is so that's going to be quite interesting because i know they write songs together i always i always thought they were going to end up together i always thought in the back of my head and now they're together so yeah i i already know i'm going to call her camilla sometimes by mistake so i apologize <laughs> in advance right let's begin All right, we're getting straight into it. He's really beefed up. He used to be so skinny. Oh, paying attention to the fans. That's nice. I haven't seen him in concert. I haven't been to a concert in a long time, like way before the pandemic. Don't mess up. Look how many people. I'd absolutely love it. When when I start singing again, girls, you ain't gonna be ready. Okay, we got a shower scene. Okay, okay, sure. Okay, <laughs> giving us a little tree, okay. Okay, he's in Brazil. Oh, he's got a little bit of the chest there. I don't mind a little bit of chest there. What are those? Are, are those like, I think they're like um, suction cups, aren't they? Suction cup prints. 
My voice hit its breaking point at the end of this tour, and I'm using my phone to talk. Singing can have, you know, when you're singing every day, people don't realize that, like, singing is like a literal, like, muscle. Like, you need muscles to sing. And when you're tiring your muscles out, obviously, they're not going, obviously, eventually, they're going to tire out. Um, and that's why a lot of singers, especially the belters, because he's a belter, end up having to have surgery on their voice and stuff like that and on vocal rest. Um, that's why Mariah don't do no high notes, baby girl. She probably like, just imagine Mariah Carey. People are saying like, oh, she doesn't sing like she used to. I'm sure she doesn't sing like she used to because the amount of muscles that she was doing to do all of those amazing notes must have taken a toll if she was doing that day in, day out. So yeah. It really is a skill to be able to sing every day prolonged without damaging your vocal cords. And I think that's why people have vocal coaches and vocal trainings to limit the damage. Yeah, I just wanted to put my two piece in there. I know his fingers must hurt after every concert. And there is as well, after every concert. Finito. This thing you start doing in your bedroom, making vines for the love of it, is it hard to protect that pure thing that started it all? Yeah. Especially when there's money involved. As a kid, when you look at someone and you're like, this is my dream, and someone goes, that's a stupid dream, you'd be like, oh yeah, it is a stupid dream. Not me. I was a very stubborn child. Miss Parker, the vocal class teacher, and I told her, and she had no hesitation to believe me. Yeah, he did have a nice voice, so no surprise. <laughs> it is nuts. Well, e even to go to the bathroom, he has to go with security. Oh. Okay, so this is like the infancy of the fame. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> I love you. Holy moly. That is really mad as well. It's a really mad concept. Like, people don't know you, but they love you. Like, they're saying that they love you. And I've been to concerts, concerts where people, like, are just, like, really in love. Like crying and like oh, i love you just shouting it out hoping the person's gonna hear and it's always been a very bizarre concept to me but i'm not gonna lie i have been like backstage like backstage and i have seen like people and i'm just like oh, oh oh my god i don't think i've ever been i don't think i'll be to the point where i'm saying i love you to somebody i don't know but you do have that energy of oh my gosh this person and it's so bizarre that we have that don't you think <laughs> this is so cute do you have anyone from outside of ontario where are you guys from michigan <laughs> they took a flight shot in. Crazy. That is just like so mad. Like going from a tiny room to a stadium arena. See something I'm giving up on you. I remember this one. Reached out and we FaceTime Sean. Immediately Sean just starts grilling us with questions about how the music business works, why he might need a manager. Yeah, good. 
I went from a small bedroom in Pickering to playing in front of a few thousand people. Oh wow, he looks so young there. Well, in a couple years. Mad. In my room, there's this, this little thing that has the number of shows that we're on and where we are. And it made me think that we're not even close to 100. 100 shows. Wow. No matter if it's show one or show 99, their first time seeing it. And that's special, so thanks. Let's do it. Beautiful. Oh, that's cute. I like the song. A lot of people are like, what would you be doing if this didn't happen? I feel puzzled by that question because I feel like this is what I was going to do. I hear that. Stop sitting here thinking about it. You are a songwriter. Now go write songs. Do it. Yeah, you gotta do it. I just close my eyes. Not really a fan of his hair back. I prefer it forward. I just close my eyes. It's got such a nice tone. She's renting an apartment in West Village, so we're just staying there and we both wake up in the morning, we're like, this is fucked. Oh, he's talking about Cam Camila. Oh, we're gonna get the Senorita performance. There she is. Oh, that's cute. You know, I thought he was cute, but I was like, he's he's doing other stuff, so <laughs> <laughs> I went to his dressing room to say hi. And we like started writing this song. I know what you did last time. I really liked him. I guess he liked me, but I don't really know. <laughs> Yeah, I always thought they were gay. Yeah, because they were kind of strung us along, weren't they? My song comes on the radio or something, and just the fact comes up that it's about her. And I'm like, yeah, it's about you. And, and I'm like, everything is about you. It's always, they're all, they've always been about you. Oh. Like, they're all about you. Like, every song I've ever wrote. And I'm like, rhyming off the songs. I'm like, treat you better. She's like, oh my God. She's literally had no idea. This whole time I thought she like knew. Oh, that's sweet. All of them. And you see a moon or stars and you try and take a photo of it with your iPhone and then you just can't. It just doesn't look good. I feel ya. Like, I like this song. I feel like there's like with, Cam with Camila's voice, people either love it or hate it. I feel like I'm in between. Sometimes I feel like sometimes it can be a little bit too much. And then sometimes I feel like it's just right. Um, but even when it is a bit too much, sometimes it just takes a few listens and it's just like, okay, yeah, I'm feeling this. But let me know. Let me know how you're feeling about Camila's voice. Because I know it's kind of like a split issue. Let me know. She sounds really good here. Ooh, the kisses that they don't stop. Ooh, I like that. Really good, right? I'm serious. <laughs> okay, they're still rehearsing to the last minute. Gotta get everything right. Camila and I are staying in an apartment in New York City for the very first time alone. Oh my god. First time. This is really cool to just be like a 21 year old guy and getting older. That's happening for me too. I forget he's only like 21, 22. All grown up. Well, still very young. I'm so lucky to have a friend like Brian. He works hard at keeping me in the real world. Yeah, I think I'll bring my, for my best friend along with me everywhere. He just connects me with friends from home. I'm probably closer with my friends from home now than ever. I want them to look around and be proud of it. Oh, that's cute. He's still got his friendship, original friendship circle. All right, bedroom, you did me great. Thanks. Oh, that's a nice little RV. Um, 
Okay. And we've got a really nice apartment. An alarm. She wasn't sure whether you were going out to Whitby to get a Leo or not. Yeah, I'm headed to pick her up. I'm 30 minutes from her. Yeah, his sister. My daughter is a big fan of <laughs> You want to flip it on selfie mode? Karina. Karina, I love you. Thanks, yeah, man. Canadian love right there. That would be so jarring, though. Someone just be like, hey! Brian and I fully, 100% climbed up that. Oh my gosh. When he first started singing, he like obviously wasn't the greatest. I was like, okay, whatever. Let's see where this goes. <laughs> I asked him if he wanted to be famous one, and he like shut the idea, whole idea down so fast. He, he did. <laughs> Everybody like he won't be famous. We'd finished school off. 200 people hanging out here, like trying to figure out what the plans were for Friday. It was so good. Really? We don't do that. Everyone did that. Yeah, because everybody got the group chat now, they can just pre-organise it. But yeah, sometimes we would do that at my school. Well, not 200 of us. Didn't have that many friends. <laughs> this is the room I like recorded all the vines and stuff in. It's pretty small in here, right? It's a nice little room, though. Pillows. Fuck. They smell good. <laughs> It was like affirmations on the wall. He only ever comes here to eat. Not true. Yes, you do. Yeah, I go back to my parents to eat as well. <laughs> and that like your mama's cooking. Every time he comes, I try and get him to stay. That's and you true. actually got to relax. Like oh, usually yeah. he comes in, he eats. He's like, okay, I'm not staying long, mum. His mum's British. <laughs> my car's driving itself right now. Gotta focus on the road, Sean. Yeah, I, I went through a big phase where I used to write this over and over again. I control my brain with my voice. I sing with no tension. Oh, we had an affirmation journal, okay. So I sold out the Roger Center. I sold out the Roger Center. <laughs> That's why this shit works, because I wrote it in my manifestation. Yeah, journal. it was persistent. It was persistent. Oh, he's all about that manifestation guy. It's about that. I'm gonna start my manifestation journal soon. On the street and the coffee guys like I'm coming to your show tomorrow. The door guy at my condos like I'm coming to the show tomorrow. <laughs> Showers are the best place to test out your acoustics. I recommend. Also I love this song. I love the video as well. Oh, I miss a good concert. Whole year and you Classic. It must feel so great in your hometown, stole out. Ooh, teach me how to touch you, tease, caress you, and please you. Teach me how to love. Okay, I'm feeling it. How to love. How to love. How to love. Okay, notes, sure. Cool, again, I'm just going to go take a lesson for a sec. Does it have an individual mic on? He's really in his mind, isn't it? What a massage. You are to 
me like the you do his voice I'm saying he was in my city <laughs> So sorry guys, my voice is, is cutting out on me so much tonight. Okay, this is probably when his voice went. They're looping. No, I think he's upset about it. I love these performances. I've never had more fun in my life. At the same time, I just want to hang with my parents and watch movies. You know, smoke a joint and stare at the stars with my friends. And... No, okay. He's back. <laughs> oh, okay. He's a smoker. I think that I miss that a little bit right now. It's pretty intense all the time. You must be enjoying now. If I tell the world that I'm just a normal human, are they gonna stop coming to the shows and listening to the music? To be fair, Sean, I don't think they'd care if you said that you were a normal human being. They'd just still think of you like the superhero. Is that an android, Sean? <laughs> <laughs> his voice broke you can't take my youth away so my will never be really nice notes but the power was just gonna ruin the muscles every day maybe it's because i just posted the instagram of the sunset doesn't mean that i'm down there <laughs> people really be running up shouting oh my god I can understand people are excited, but respect people's time off, you know? <laughs> She's gonna, oh my God. She's gonna collapse. I don't know if that's ever gonna feel normal. No, it's not normal. I don't know if that's supposed to feel normal. No, it's not. It's not normal. <laughs> <clears throat> Pretty thick today. The day before, I'm gonna play two stadiums in Sao Paulo. But you know what? It's okay because I watched some Kobe Bryant YouTube videos and I feel great. Oh, <laughs> this is so sad. That does not sound good. Yeah, we're, we're 30 minutes to doors. 30 minutes to doors? Why so early? Because it's a stadium. Oh. It's seen people who have. Said, I'm just gonna go through it. And then he completely hammered it, and then he needed surgery. And yeah. You're gonna hurt yourself for the next 11. Yeah. What do you think, Sean? Yeah, pull the show. Yeah, both, both of you are saying we should cancel the show, right? Yeah, we're gonna cancel that. Okay. Yeah, a hundred plus ish shows, a hundred shows is way too much to be doing with that voice. Like without like a, a good good break in between each shows. But yeah, it must feel shit like obviously you just feel like you're letting the fans down, innit? People been preparing, got the outfits ready, but yeah. You gotta put your, your health first. I feel bad that he even feels guilty about it. I mean, fans are always important. They really are. Like, even to my channel, I really appreciate everybody who watches and engages. But you can't give people that much power over you. I'm sorry, you can't. To the point where you feel guilty about putting your health first. Yeah, the fans, the fans who actually care about you will understand, yeah. And the ones who might initially be like, oh my God, I'm so disappointed, will eventually be like, okay, it's for the best. I feel like your true fans will, will care about you as a person, as opposed to their image of you. Oh no, he does have an iPhone. <laughs> Maybe he has both. What does it say? I'm fucking exhausted of this. So much pressure when you cancel a show. Yeah, people need to be mindful. People need to stop stressing people out. And like saying, if I feel like in these situations, it's fine to complain about it, but I, like, don't be at in the artist or hopping in the artist DMs talking about, oh, I did this and I did this and now it's been ruined. Don't do that. Don't do that. I heard chanting from outside and I opened up my window and there was 2,000 people in the streets chanting. And that is like beautiful. That's glad that he appreciated that because I would want to be left the fuck alone. <laughs> 
But yeah, I would have went. I would have went out to greet them, but I would have rather just have been left alone in my misery. These next ten years, everything I do is going full speed. True. An athlete in their prime. It's not wrong. That is true. I didn't think about that. I'm writing about anxiety more as a companion that I have to live with and, and less of an enemy that I'm trying to resist. I think that's a good way of looking at it. Because I guess people, everybody has anxiety, but obviously there's anxiety that's more chronic than others. And I can only imagine when you are like a celebrity and everyone's following you around and expecting so much of you, the anxiety is probably more frequent. So yeah, I guess you could see, you know, seeing that as a companion rather than an enemy takes some of the power out of it, I guess. I'm really excited to sing these songs on tour, actually. And it's not going to be on tour for a while. I always wonder if like all like the, the celebrities are actually really enjoying quarantine and lockdown rather than hating it. I think you can tell some people are absolutely hating it, but you can tell some people are absolutely loving it as well. Okay, he's got his little moustache growing out. Yeah, Elle's back. Final show. It's the last show. It's the last show. It's sold out, baby. That's the what? Like three months and a bit of touring out of the year. tour it must feel fucking amazing when you get in bed and you just sleep Stuck in that's the end isn't it that's the end you know what i actually really enjoyed that i'm not sure whether it's because i'm a fan or not um but yeah i think i'm falling back in <laughs> it's definitely made me even more of a fan than I was before now because I kind of fell out of the whole Macon era, you know? But yeah, I think it was a really good documentary, even as a documentary. I think the fans are definitely going to enjoy it. Um, and it did a good job portraying him. He just seems like a normal young boy whose dreams came true and he's still, you know, trying to juggle with this new life appreciating this new life and what it's affording him but also keeping grounded as well um and i think it also shows the pressure that people feel as well and maybe examining the relationship between fans and celebrity or fans and artists because i do think it is a little bit toxic at times um in terms of power dynamics and you know where do we draw the lines in our expectations and our demands of these artists I think it opens up the question to that. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've said a lot of things. What do you guys think of, you know, but yeah, I'd be interested to hear from, from you guys. What do you think about the current relationship with fans and artists, especially now in this era where there's stands and fandoms? Do you think areas of the fandom is a bit te is a bit toxic in terms of what these fans expect off of artists who are human beings. They are human beings with needs and wants and emotions, um, and health. So I'd be interested to hear from that. But yeah, I personally thought this is a really good artist documentary. I think maybe people who might have fallen off Shawn Mendes could. If they watch this, I think they're probably going to fall back in love with him or start, you know, appreciating him as a fan again. Um, yeah, I think it was pretty cute. It seemed, there were some bits where it did seem a little bit staged, but overall it seemed very authentic. I think Shawn Mendes was obviously very involved in this in the editing room, but overall I think it did a good job. Good, well, it was a job well done. I think this was a good documentary and yeah. Yeah, okay, Sean, okay. There were some things I thought they were going to address that they didn't, 
but I'm not really too bothered about that to be honest. I think this is going to I think the fans are definitely going to appreciate this. So yeah, I I but I'd be interested to hear from you guys whether you're just not necessarily a fan or somebody who does kind of like his music and just wanted to see the documentary. What do you now feel about Sean Mendes after this and of course the fans? Did you like it? Did you not? Were you expecting something different? Is there something that you think that they should have included? I'd be interested to hear from you guys and yes subscribe if you haven't yet and if you have don't forget to put my notification bell so you know when the next content is dropping i'm also trying to get to 2.2k so i appreciate if you help me out with that milestone and thank you to everybody who has subscribed so far till next time guys bye